Hi folks, I am back. This is Heart to Heart with me, Ruben Kigame. And like we promised you last week, we are going to be continuing with uh, the area of how I read and write. How does Ruben Kigame read and write? Some unanswered questions from last week and some people wanting to know a bit more. So we continue, yes. But before I start, I would like to remind you that pretty soon we'll be moving this program to our sister channel, that is Fish TV Africa, so that you will have the music on uh, this particular channel, Kigame Media TV. But all of these programs and many other wonderful ones are moving to Fish TV Africa. So we would want you to subscribe to Fish TV Africa and make sure you also press that notification button so that when every Wednesday we showcase a new program, you'll be able to follow. And don't, don't, don't forget to check out, there, there is a very wonderful devotional program on there uh, that's called Morning Dew. If you haven't listened to Morning Dew, you're missing something. As usual though, I must uh, sing for you something small. Uh, and because I'm in my office, where I'm doing most of the, uh, you know, revelations of how I read and write, I would like to sing a favorite song of mine, an old hymn that was written in 1874, I think, by Francis Ridley Havergal. I like this song because it speaks my heart, you know? It really gets to my heart. This is what I would love. It's a desire of my heart. It's called Take My Life and Let It Be. And everything I sing here, I believe, and it's a prayer, and what a privilege to make it from my office here. Take my life and let it be Consecrated, Lord, to Thee Take my moments and my days let them flow in ceaseless praise. Let them flow in ceaseless praise. Take my hands and let them move at the impulse of thy love. Take my feet and let them be Swift and beautiful for Thee Swift and beautiful for Thee Take my voice and let me sing Always only for my King Take my lips and let them be Filled with messages from Thee Filled with messages from Thee Take my silver and my gold, not a might would I withhold. Take my intellect and use every power as thou shalt choose. Every power as thou shalt choose. Take my will and make it thine. It shall be no longer mine. Take my heart, it is thine own. It shall be thy royal throne. It shall be thy royal throne. Take my love, my Lord, I pour at thy feet each treasure store. Take myself and I will be ever only all for 
I feel like doing Amen And Amen just means let it be so Okay, so I guess um, we'll pick from where we left last week and a lot of you were asking questions about how does Reuben read all these books? Okay, the secret is out. I will call my assistant who helps me with uh, research and reading to showcase how we do it. So this is Romeo and Juliet, mm -hmm. Act 1, Scene 1. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, it's in Verona, a public place. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, enter Samson and Gregory of the house of Capulet with swords and backlass. Mm -hmm. So here's how the conversation goes. Mm -hmm. Samson, Gregory, oh my word, mm -hmm. will not carry calls. Gregory, no, for then we should be colliers. Mm -hmm. Samson, I mean, and we be in collar, mm -hmm. we'll draw. That is C H O. Yes, C H O L E R, yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, we'll draw, Gregory. No, that means anger. Oh, anger. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, Gregory, hey, while you live, draw your neck out or the collar. Uh, Samson, I strike quickly, being moved. Gregory, but thou art not quickly moved to strike. <laughs> yeah, Samson. It's a play on words. <laughs> Samson, a dog of the house of Montag moves me. Gregory, to me is to star. And to be valiant is to stand. Therefore, mm -hmm. to, Say that again. to move is to star. Mm -hmm. And to be valiant mm -hmm. is to stand. Let me take that. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. to, to what? To move, to move is to star. S T I R. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And to be valiant mm -hmm. is to stand. And no punctuation there. There's a colon actually after stand. Okay. Yes. Great. Uh, uh, I made a mistake there. Stand. Mm -hmm. It's a great statement. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it goes on. Therefore, mm -hmm. comma, if thou art moved, mm -hmm. thou runst away. <laughs> <laughs> Samson, a dog of that house shall move me to stand. <laughs> <laughs> I will take the wall of any man or maid of Montags. Hi, my name is Mervyn Chariot. I'm uh, the assistant to Ruben Kigame. Well, I assist him in some ways of how he can access text from books, either in soft copy or hard copy. Apart from reading hard copies like uh, what, what I just did, uh, there's so much resource in, uh, in soft copy that uh, he accesses through his, lapt his laptop. <coughs> Uh, so, first, uh, most of the books we access online, and uh, we download them so that he can read. He he can read in soft copy. For example, uh, there's this site we call Z Library, where we can get electronic books from which we can uh, which we can download so that he can read from his laptop. When we've downloaded the books, uh, he can access them in his laptop, which reads it from for, which reads it for him. Also, uh, there are those files that come, especially in PDF or image format. So the software doesn't read those. It can't recognize the, the, the characters in the, in the books. So what we need to do is uh, convert them. Uh, we use a software called ABBY. We convert the books into a format that is readable. Uh, we, we also do, like when he's doing schoolwork, we also do like exam marking and grading. So that's where I come in with the uh, with the help on uh, viewing the viewing the video assignments and also recording the grades. Actually, he does the marking because uh, all I have to do is make sure that everything is in place, that all the submissions have been downloaded, and uh, we can access the assignments. So all he does is go through them and uh, max them so i just have to enter the grades and upload them to the to the school website uh, recently a friend of ruben introduced him to an app uh, which can be installed on an, on the which can be installed on the iphone uh, he's using an iphone the app recognizes text from a book from any writing you can just write something and it can recognize it so we're trying to experiment how the app can be useful to him uh, so that in some way he can be able to 
uh, read books and uh, also get to know what's going on around him. Like now the app, what I didn't mention is that the app can also recognize uh, people's faces. Like when you're happy, when you're smiling or when you're frowning, the app can tell. Yeah, I know it looks like it's quite impossible, but with this app, it is actually we've tested it. So the app, let me just try and demonstrate how it works. Uh, let me try and... Ethnic uh, Patriotism and the East African Revival A History of Descent 1935 1972 Derek R. Peterson Yeah, Revi like you had, it really read the cover to this book Ethnic Patriotism and the East African Revival A History of Descent 1935 to 1972 by Derek R. Peterson So it's working actually We're, trying, we're still trying to see how helpful it can be to him You have overcome fear. He who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. God loves you and he's got you back. Be encouraged today. God has said, never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. He is in total control because he is above all. He overcomes all. Amen. And um, next year is my Amazon Kindle. This is um, what I use to uh, do electronic reading uh, uh, of uh, Kindle books that I have uh, downloaded uh, from Amazon. This was donated to me by a very good friend of mine called Rodney Rosario. And, um, you know, Rodney, you know, and I come uh, very many years from the Ravi Zacharias days of training. So next year is uh, my phone. I use uh, right now the uh, iPhone 10, which was uh, donated to me by a very good friend of mine after my phone was stolen at a concert in Mombasa. <laughs> so uh, he donated uh, this um, to me. I've come long ways by God's provision, by the way. A lot of what I have has been gifts from friends and, you know, God has provided in so many wonderful ways. So this particular one is a build up from the days of uh, the Nokia 310, I think, uh, 3310, I think it was, and all the way to the E63. That was a very fantastic phone. In fact, I think I used that phone for nearly 10 years, mainly because of the speech program that comes with it. A very simple and basic program. So the iPhone is probably the best thing that ever happened to a blind person because it comes with a lot of features that are very user friendly and um, to apple you know what kudos i say kudos to you um i will sort of activate it here to give you an idea voice over on yeah 1708 yeah so i have activated the voice over which i can turn off voice over off yeah so i can turn it back on voice over on 1708. So it tells me the time, 1708. Sunday, the 30th of August. Sunday, the 30th of August. It will announce that. Now, if I scroll down a Thank little. You. One minute ago, I must confess that I love this man so much. I guess Kenya commented. Button. So that's a message Actions that has available. come from my YouTube channel, Kigami Media TV. WhatsApp, Groot, 15 minutes ago. Dana Manga, just watching Shekina on the SPF YouTube channel singing. She's very talented. Two more notifications from Dana Manga. Button. Yeah. So so voice that that is what the voice over program does. And um, it's amazing what, you know, Apple has done with the iPhone. And I can tell you that um, using one other program, it's called Siri. Uh, and Siri is a very smart <laughs> Siri, yes, S-I-R-I. -I. Uh, you can ask Siri a couple questions and it will tell you. Let me see. Um, Hi, Siri. Go ahead. What's the time now, Siri? It's 17.10. And what's the weather like in Eldoret right now? It's currently thunderstorming at 17 degrees in Eldoret, Kenya. How about Kuala Lumpur? It's currently clear in 27 degrees in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. And what's the weather like in New York right now? 
It's currently cloudy and 22 degrees in New York, New York. Send a text message to Dan Omanga. Which phone number for Dan Omanga? The first one. What do you want to say? Thank you very much for your kind words regarding my daughter's singing. Here's your message. Ready to send it? Read it. Your message says thank you very much for your kind words regarding my daughter's singing. Ready to send it? No. Okay. I won't send it just yet. So besides this writing slate, I also use the Brailler. This is the Perkins Brailler that uh, uh, helps to make these uh, kinds of dots on, uh, on, the, um, on the Braille paper. Yeah, so this is the thicker Manila paper, which I, you know, use. I choose to use this because it's smooth. And um, then the regular Braille paper is not available readily in Kenya. And so I just go to the store and buy that. So what you do is you put this in here and make sure that you are on the left margin. Then you drop this lever and you roll in the paper like that. And uh, you line it up pretty much like you used to do the old typewriter that I, you know, I learned how to type, by the way, when I was 14 and um, uh, typed on the regular typewriter, you know, da -da 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 -da, and um, with ribbon and, you know, it's, it's, my favorite was the Hermes, the Hermes typewriter. And I used that right into college at Kenyatta University and so on. And um, so this works a little bit like that typewriter. When you come to, towards the end of the line, you will hear it ring a bell. There you go. Then you know you're coming to the end of the line. So what I've done, because this paper is short, I sort of put a margin here. So, so that, uh, let me pull it, yeah. So there you see. Um, and uh, this is convenient for filing. Otherwise I would make longer paper. Most of the box files are A4 size. So, um, you know, I could uh, write using Braille and let me see, maybe let me just do the, alphabet a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p and q r s t u v w x i made a mistake on the x yeah there we go x y z yeah mm -hmm. and then the numbers you use a numeral sign you have a one two three four five six seven eight nine and for 10, you'd have to do the numeral sign, then the one, and then the zero, okay? So basically, this is how I write Braille. It looks something like that. I think you've already seen, um, you, you, I think you've already seen it. Um, so that is how Braille works. And then for Braille, you read from, uh, you read from left to right when reading, you read from left to right. So um, when writing on the slate, because the paper is facing upside down, so you write from right to left. But when reading, you turn it like that. So you read from left to right. And uh, for the Braille, though, of course, as you're writing, it's popping up. So you, you already have a left to, to right uh, setup. So for this one, I have part one, preliminary considerations, preparing for the design of a scholarly study. And then chapter one is titled the selection of a research approach. So you read from left to right. Now, when it comes to uh, typing, I do use a regular laptop. This is uh, a Toshiba and uh, I use a speech program on the laptop that is called JAWS for Windows. That's J-A-W-S, Job Access with Speech. So I use that uh, to be able to navigate. And um, so I have hooked up some speakers here. I hope the sound will come on. Yeah, let me bump it up a bit so that you can all hear. 
All right. Escape. So I just pushed the escape button. So supposing I wanted to do a document, I'm just, you know, giving you like a bird's eye view here. Um, I use a lot of shortcuts and shortcuts help me to move much, much faster than uh, coming onto the pad here and, uh, you know, navigating with, 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 um, with a rub or a push. So I, I do uh, control escape. Control escape. And uh, so heading. that way it will be a little noisy, but bear with me. So uh, when I'm at this uh, start menu, I can type in like a shortcut like W. w. So that word gives me a word 2016. Right to switch preview. So enter. I enter on it. Opening dash word. Yeah, so word. it opens a, a word document for me. So if I was preparing a script for my daughter to work with, for example, for this particular program, I would um, maybe make some notes for her. I would write something like this. Preparatory. Script. E enter. Caps lock off. T. A. Godwin. E enter. R. Blank. Intro. E enter. Music. E enter. Narration. E enter. Song. E enter. Advert. E enter. Intro. Discussion. 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 E enter. So if I wanted to read a book, one of the thousands and thousands, I have many of them on the laptop here and grouped into, you know, different subjects and so on. So supposing I just wanted to get to my folder. Control escape. Search. Uh, documents. So. Yes. Docu documents. Uh, so Enter. Go in here. Documents. And then, let me see. Ah, uh, ah, uh, click line. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, Reuben kick. Enter. Reuben kick again documents. So. African Christian theology. Apologetics. Articles. Backups. Bible. Biographies, books in progress, classes, dissertation literature, docs under review, downloaded books, ethics books, history, camera and chitango, literature, media and communication, music text, my classes, Nathaniel Kalai book, Pandash Africanism, personal documents, philosophy, science, submitted papers, theology, WC 900 research in world Christianity, world Christianity, account details dot docs, Atheism a Biblical Perspective 1. Docs. Chapter. Docs. Helios on Atheism in Exum's Instructions. Dash. I can go to any of these documents and click on it. Not let me see. Uh, let me see. African Christian Theology. So let me go advanced to hermeneutics. Advanced Enter. Hermeneutics here. View. Items. Left bracket. Dockery. Under. Left bracket. Le left, bra left bracket. Stanley. Underline. The underline. Porter. Under so if I wanted to open a specific document, I will maybe scroll critical, and come to... Acts and exegetical commentary by Craig Keener. Docs. Yeah, so I have found Acts and exegetical commentary by Keener. This is one of my favorite Enter. ones on the Book Opening of Acts. Word. So I will open it. I have already converted it into a Word document. It's a huge book, almost a thousand pages. Acts and exegetical so commentary by Craig. it takes a bit of time to read. Escape. So let me see. Acts, section two, page one, an exegetical commentary, page three, section four, Acts, an exegetical commentary, volume I, introduction, and I colon I dash 247, Craig S. Keener, B, Baker Academic. Yeah, so I can read that way. And uh, all I need to do is remember what I read and uh, taking mental notes and then uh, you know, if I want, I could summarize them uh, on the computer or I could come to my Braille and take Braille notes. Yeah, and uh, sometimes I've been reading the whole day and or for several hours and I just need a little break, but I don't want to go away from the office. So I'll come to my favorite corner here. <clears throat> 
Uh, this is my daughter Skettle, so I'm using it for the time being. And you know that uh, that's a good place to go to when you see this particular packet. My coffee, one of, you know, the easy, quick helps, you know. I like the real coffee and uh, for that I have to go to the kitchen. But uh, I can help myself with um, some of this and uh, not have to call to uh, my wife or my daughters or my son to, uh, you know, uh, have to do anything with me. They could be busy. So I'll boil the water and please, no comments. Uh, this is one of the smaller ones that I use. And uh, I will enjoy a nice cup of coffee and then, you know, like I said, this is a place where I also do my prayer time and um, uh, I do the teaching. Uh, usually the teaching will take place on this particular laptop. And uh, yeah, voila. Yeah, so this is a little bit of my inner world. I hope that uh, you have an idea, you know, how a blind person can uh, navigate in the area of knowledge and uh, information and so on. And God has been so gracious to me. I mean, I tell you, without him, uh, there is not much I would be able to do in my life. And I also want to thank God for my parents that... Uh, did not treat me as a blind person. They took me to school, supported me with their meager resources. And I also thank God for my family, my immediate family, my wife and children. When I am in their company, I don't feel blind. That I can tell you. And there are many things I can tell you about my family. Maybe I will one of these days. But I would like to close by reading for you a couple of verses from one of my favorite chapters in the Bible. The whole chapter is just fantastic, but I'll read uh, maybe two or three verses from Isaiah chapter 42. Isaiah 42, let me read from verse 2 to 3, and then I'll skip to my big verse, verse 16. Um, 42 from verse 2. He will not shout or cry out or raise his voice in the streets. Verse 3, a bruised reed he will not break and a smoldering week he will not snuff out in faithfulness he will bring forth justice now that is what god will do and i can tell you as an individual i have seen horrible days that i can tell you i've seen some bad days real bad days but he has not allowed me to be broken he has not allowed me uh, to be snuffed out. There are times I just felt like I was going out. He did not allow it. Now, I don't know how many of you have ever read Isaiah 42 verse 16. Uh, here God has a very specific message to the blind. You know, this is what he says. Isaiah 42 16. I will lead the blind by ways they have not known. Along unfamiliar paths, I will guide them. I will turn the darkness into light before them and make the rough places smooth. These are the things I will do. I will not forsake them. That is the word of the Lord. And that has been my testimony. God has never forsaken me and neither will he forsake you. Until the next time around, that has been Heart to Heart. And in case you want to follow me um, on Twitter, my Twitter handle is at Ruben Kigame. On uh, Instagram, I appear as Papa Kigame. And uh, I'm also on Facebook as Kigame Media. You can follow and like my page. And then also remember that on YouTube, we have a channel. It's called Kigame Media TV. My team and I run that. And we have started a new channel that will be broadcasting a lot of content. It's called Fish TV Africa. We want to appeal to you to uh, subscribe to it, subscribe to our two channels, 
And certainly, tune in next Wednesday for another episode of Heart to Heart. From me and my uh, producers, Shekina and Godwin, it's bye-bye. God bless you. Au revoir. Thank you for coming into my world. <laughs>